welcome back to my channel. My name is Trish and today is going to be a get ready with me using some new to me makeup. So if you are curious how I got this makeup look, then just go ahead and keep watching. So to start with, I actually have a new eyeshadow palette and this one here is from Rude Cosmetics and it's the First Love Diary and I did get it at Marshalls for $9.99. It was actually really cute. Um, my husband went to Marshalls with me and um, he saw this palette there and he was like, you gotta get this. Ashley, um, my daughter, would love this. And so I got it to give to her but then I opened it and was like, oh, I want that. So my daughter is very perturbed that I'm keeping it. If you didn't know, she's really into manga. So that is why this palette came into my collection. But the color story of this is gorgeous and I've never tried Rude Cosmetics. So I just got done priming my eye with my Essence Primer here. And are you guys ready for this? First off, it comes with this little thing inside. It's really cute. And then uh, this, you guys, is the color story. So if you can't guess, we're going colorful today. So let me go ahead. This actually has dual chromes, by the way. I'm really excited about those. Let's go ahead and start out with some color because why not, right? Let me get my mirror here so I can see myself. Um, <laughs> Actually going to start out with this one right here and that shade is R Roberto Roberto yeah Roberto and it's got a really pretty flower um, embossed on it I don't know if you'll be able to see that but it's really really pretty and I am just gonna start placing this in my outer corner to see what I got and what I'm working with pigmentation wise which that's pretty pigmented maybe I should zoom you in Let's see what we got. We're just going to start placing this kind of like so. That is very pigmented and a very big blob. And I kind of like that. I really like that color. Okay, let me do the other eye. I feel like I have purple wings going on right now. It's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take a fluffier brush here, and I'm going to take, um, let's take this brighter purple that's slightly less deep, deep, and we are going to use that to kind of blend it out along the edges. You guys, I'm really loving the way that this is blending. It's beautiful. It really is. And it's blending so easily. You guys will have to tell me, have you heard of Rude Cosmetics before? Have you used them? Do you like them? I had never heard of them um, prior to me getting this palette. I had never heard from them, but I've been on their website and they've got some pretty interesting palettes. So I might have to ask my husband for, what's the next holiday? Hmm. I don't know what the next holiday is, but I might have to ask him for the next holiday to uh, buy me some more of their palettes. If you guys don't know, I'm trying not to buy makeup this year, so I'm using gift cards or having my husband buy them for me. I don't know if that's considered cheating. I don't really care if it's considered cheating, but that's just the way I'm doing it. But it also holds me accountable because I do have to ask my husband to buy them for me. Not have to, but you know, in general. Color me very, very, very happy with the quality of this eyeshadow palette so far. It's just beautiful. It's blending so easily. I am loving this. Okay, so we've got some duochromes. And you guys, I've used like this shade and this shade, and there's no kick up in the pan 
whatsoever. I like that. It means you're not wasting product. Okay, I think I'm gonna use Hesukoi right here, which looks like a really pretty duochrome. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see that, but it looks like a really pretty duochrome. And I'm just going to use this flat shade of brush here. Grab some setting spray, my only setting spray that I'm trying to use up. And we are gonna take that on a flat brush and spritz it. And then put it on and see what we got. Oh my gosh, if you guys can hear the wind howling, I am so sorry, but it is, we have 50 mile per hour winds here today. It's insane. This color is so pretty. I don't know if you'd be able to kind of see the shift, but it's a blue purple shift. It's gorgeous. It looks more blue on the lid, which I'm kind of liking with the purple look. So that is that one. Should I try it with the finger on the other eye? Let me just see if it like helps it out to do it with a finger. Does it look more intense? I can't tell. I, I don't think it looks more intense. So these are actually brush friendly shadows. That's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna spritz it again and put it on the other eye. Oh, wow. You guys, I have never heard of Rude Cosmetics before, but color me impressed. Now, I am kind of, all right, there was a chunk there. I am kind of curious about the inner corner. I might have to use a different palette or maybe just my highlighter, maybe just my highlighter. But I am going to take a little bit of this Nasu shade right here. And let's see here, let's do this one on this brush here, and we're gonna take that Nasu shade, get my dog hair off that, and kind of deepen up the outer corner just a little bit. What do we think? I like that. Wow, the eyes look great. Okay, for a color that I haven't done in like a hot minute, I think this looks really pretty. I'm gonna just take a little bit more of the orangey, this shade right here that I use. I'm just trying to blend out, like right here I seem to have a harsh edge that, I'm just trying to blend out just a bit more. There we go, just a bit more. There we go. All right. I'm in love, you guys. Wow, did you see that duochrome? I can't wait to swatch this and show you guys the rest of these shades. Oh, oh, it was $9.99 at TJ Maxx. And you guys, this one's a duochrome. Let's see, I'm trying to look and see the shift. This one and this one are duochromes, it looks like. I can't tell, maybe this one is as well. I'll find out when I swatch them and maybe put asterisks on the screen or something. At once I find out. Okay, I will say that I'm kind of getting a little bit of fallout from the shimmer shade I used. That's okay. Kind of figured that. That's why I did my eyes first. So let's go ahead and do our face makeup. And for a primer, I'm going to be using the Else of Good Vibes, um, Good Vibes Only, a soft velvet primer. I have been loving primer. I think it's taken the place of my Kiko Milano, which is shocking, but um, I'm just using a little bit and I only use it in the spots that I have pores. I use my skincare mostly as my primer, but um, we all know I have pores. I'm a 40 year old. I have pores. Um, so I try to use this where I have pores and fine lines. Okay, I am okay. I can't stop looking 
at my eyeshadow. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's been so long since I've done such a nice, nice look. Let's go ahead and do the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. I bought this and these shades look way light. So we're gonna have to bronze. If I start looking like a ghost, you guys, just leave me a laughing emoji in the comments, okay? I, I'm gonna be laughing on this side as well. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with two pumps. I haven't, I've seen people review this and there are some people, that, oh my gosh. There are some people that like it and some people that hate it. Um, and I've been wanting to try it, but I've been trying a other things first because <laughs> I wanted to. Oh, wow. Okay. This is a horrible. And I had such a hard time trying to shade match myself too because um, I'm usually the lightest, the lightest. And I got two shades thinking one of them was going to work and they're both so light. Like this is the darker of the two shades that I got. I look like a ghost. Fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Besides the color, which is atrocious, um, it kind of, I, I don't know. This might be one that I actually have to get my right shade before I can say if I like this or not. So it is transfer and waterproof. I do want to test those claims. Um, so I will probably be getting my uh, correct shade in it, which I hate. Maybe I'll give these to my daughter. She's paler than me. Yes, believe it or not, that's actually a thing. <laughs> And I do not have a new concealer, so I'm just going in with my Project Pan Joa Concealer. The eyes might be pretty, but the face, I look like a ghost. Like, I know I'm pale to start with, but wait. I... Please don't comment that that actually, like, matches me. <laughs> it's, it's so pale. Okay, I'm going to set my face. I'm going to use my a flower nose. Um, powder here with my powder brush. You guys, I got these off of Amazon. Look at these handles. Aren't they pretty? And they're actually not bad brushes. I was really shocked about how soft the brushes are. And I've been liking using them. I know people like to use the name brand brushes, but honestly, like I've really been enjoying this and I got a whole set of them for I think it was $19. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen, but. All right, let me do it under my eyes real quick. Poke myself in the eye real quick. All right, powder is done. So the next new thing that I have is going to be for my brows, believe it or not. Um, again, at Marshall's, they had this, and this is the Benefit Brow Styler. Um, mine, rattles. I don't know if it's supposed to or not, but it does have two ends. It's got a like powder on one end and then the pencil on the other. You guys, I can. Okay, so you guys, I usually use a, um, my essence made me brow. I couldn't think of it, but I wanted to try something new and I've kind of been liking the pencil end of this. I want to try the powder end today. Uh, it looks like this is this little teeny tiny, teeny tiny doe foot applicator and I've never used a powder. Whoa. You see that dot? Cool. Um, I've never used a powder before in my brows, so... This looks a little red for me. I'm not gonna, I, 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 I'm not going to uh, <laughs> pull punches. It definitely looks red. Do I have anything to comb through my brows with? No. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll just go through with my SME brow. We'll make this work, we'll make this work. So let me do the other one. 
this is so pigmented. And I would really like to know why it rattles. Like, I'm not sure about the powder side. I do like the pencil side. I'm not sure about the powder side. Let me get my Essence Make Me Brow and put it in real quick, which is not new, and I will be right back. Okay, so here is, I used the e.l.f. Wow Brow, because that's the one that I had around me, and the brows are, the, uh, they're there, they're there, they're there, but I do need to get some more color on my face, because I'm still feeling a little pale, if you will, so I also picked this up, and I have never tried this, again, this is a new to me thing, but this is the Benefit Gold Rush, and this was at Marshall's, so I'm just going to take this on my, my brush for my set, and we are going to apply this to the cheeks and hope it has color. That's kind of shiny. It's kind of pretty light. It kind of reminds me of my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush that I am painting. Only this needs a little bit more pigmentation. Like I'm trying to build it up. It doesn't seem to be building up the greatest. What do we think? Okay, so not sure about this one. Maybe it's just because I'm so pale right now. But I did get oh, I did get another face palette, and this is the Fox and Socks by Makeup Revolution, and it looks like this. So I might try to put just a little bit of this color on there, see what we got. Why not? That is super pigmented, cool. Let's mix it around on my hand to mix, blend those colors and see what we got. I really like that blush. Okay, so it does look very deep and dark, and I'm sure if I like swatch it together, it will look kind of uh, scary, but it actually makes a pretty blush. Okay, so let's see if I can get it to look the same on the other side. So I kind of tapped it around, then I tapped it off and mixed it together on the back of my hand, and then just went in with it very lightly. Okay, I actually think I like that blush more than I like the Benefit Gold Rush blush. Hot take there. Okay, let me wipe this off the back of my hand before I get it all over my face. And I do not have a bronzer per se. I do have this. It's pretty deep. But I'm feeling pale. Should I try it? Maybe I'll save that one for the summertime. Let me throw on some bronzer real quick. Okay, so I am back and I put on my bronzer. I did just use the BH Belgian Waffles and I mixed these two shades for my bronzer. And right here on my cheek, it's looking so glowy right now. I'm kind of debating on not putting on a highlighter because of it. But I have a highlighter I want to put on. So we're gonna we're we're gonna be glowy. We're gonna be glowy and bright today. And I have the Essence the Highlighter in the shade Mesmerizing. And I am just going to take a little teeny tiny fan brush here, which I know very few people actually use anymore to do their highlighter, but I kind of like it. Whew, look at that. Dang. Hmm. That's so pretty. Okay, let's do the other side. I love this highlighter. Oh, it's just glowy. It's a very, very pretty. Okay, so we're almost done, I promise. Um, I'm just going to line my eyes with my Urban Decay 24-7 and Zero. Man, it's getting really hard to line my eyes with this. Let me tell you, I struggle each time I use this at this point, but I am determined I'm going to use it up. So I'm just running this along my top, my top lash line here. Difference with and without. 
That's why I run it along the top lash line. It just gives the base of the eye just a little bit more um, definition for the mascara. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna do the lower lash line too. So real quickly, I'm gonna run this in my lower lash line as well. This concealer is creasing on me. I don't, I don't understand it. All right, and then I'm going to go back to this palette right here, and I am going to take the um, hmm, probably this one. Okay, we're gonna use like this little teeny tiny one here, and I'm going to take the shade orangey, orangey, right here, and I'm gonna run it along the lower lash line. Do I want to do that? Hmm. No, actually, I'm going to take the shade Sapun, this one down here, the one I haven't used yet. It's like a magenta. Actually, kind of matches my nails. <laughs> I've really been liking that color lately, so let's take that and run it along the lower lash line. I'm going to try to hold my mirror up here so you guys can actually see it. And I'm keeping this pretty close to the uh, waterline and more stamping it than actually dragging it. So, and do that, and then I will take a blending brush and blend it out once I get the pigment where I want it. And then I'm going to take more of a fluffier, but kind of still a flat brush, and I'm just blending it out just a little. Kind of soften those edges. Blend it in with the black there. And I'm loving this blue on my eye so much. I think I'm actually going to take this shade that I used and put it in the inner corner and run it along the bottom lash line as well. So I'm just gonna take a little brush and that's not small enough. I'm gonna take this little brush here and I'm gonna put it in the corner and run it on the lower lash line corner here. Kind of make it pop just a little. I like it. Okay. It's coming together. Okay, so last for the eyes. I'm in love, by the way. Last for the eyes, I do have a new mascara to try. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Mascara, um, and it is the waterproof version of this. And you guys, obviously, if I'm putting this on now, you know Mascara Monday. This is gonna be the one that I am going to be doing. So, this is my first time opening it. Maybe opening it, okay. And, Let's see what we got for this one. Oh, the bristles are definitely a lot further apart on this brush than I'm used to, but let's see what we got. A drier formula off the get-go. I find that's the case with most waterproof mascaras. Ow! Perked myself in the eye. Who could have, who could have guessed that would happen? Okay. So I do have to clean up where I poked myself in the eye and blinked. But what do we think of the mascara? Okay, so here is two coats of the mascara on. I have to say I'm two for two with this mascara because I stuck it in this eye as well. Not a fan of that brush. Let's go ahead and finish off the lips. I do have the Huda Beauty um, Lip Contour 2.0 in Pinky Brown or the Essence 8 Hour Matte um, Pencil in Soft Beige. I think I'm going to use the Huda Beauty one for today. And it's not a sharpenable one. It is a twist up one, which I'm not sure if I like or not, but I do love this color. Very pretty. And for the lip 
product that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty. It is um, the Power Bullet Matte Lipstick and the Shade Interview. These actually came in a kit with this liquid lipstick as well. So let's get this on. So uh, this is the final look with the products that are new to me and you guys, this eyeshadow palette, I gotta say, I'm feeling some kind of way with this look on my eyes. I love this look. It is gorgeous. So definitely loving that. The foundation, it looks good on my skin, but I'm gonna have to get a different shade. And I already have two, so I'm not loving that. This brow product here, um, I do like the pencil side of it. I do not like the like the powdery side of it. Um, the mascara is probably going to be a no for me, but check back on Monday to see my mascara review to see if I actually like that. The highlighter is gorgeous. I'm like, need I say more? It's, it's gorgeous as I throw it on the floor. This actually shocked me. I got it because of the cute packaging, of course. Um, and I didn't think like either of these shades was gonna work for me. I really did just get it for the packaging. But this makes a gorgeous blush. And I've actually used this as a bronzer. It's a little deep for me right now, but I plan on using this as a bronzer in the summertime. And this I can actually use now. Like I can make it work. It's just a very glowy blush and I have to be super light-handed with it. The lip liner I am loving. The lipstick I'm loving. This blush right here is a little bit light even for me. I don't know if I have to work at the product um, to get it to stand my cheeks or if I need to use a different blush brush. I need to play with this more. But right now, I'm not impressed with it. I'm actually more impressed with Makeup Revolution one than I am with this one. So let's see here. Oh, the makeup brushes. I love these. I got like a whole set of these and I will have them linked below if you're interested in them. They're very soft. I'm not going to say they're the best quality, but they work. They're soft. They're pretty. And I liked them. So that is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this Get Ready With Me using some new to me products and maybe even new to you products. I don't know if you've heard of them before or not or have any interest in them. But if you did, comment down below which one was your favorite one or which one you are most interested in. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. So that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. If you did, if you would like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help me out, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!